Everybody has a heart and we all need them to work well. My name is Daisha Cohen and I'm the Executive Vice President of Health Services for Care First Blue Cross Blue Shield. And I'm the chair of the American Heart Association's 2022 Greater Maryland Heart Walk. Heart disease and stroke have affected my family as far back as we can trace. In my immediate family, three of us, four siblings, have congenital heart disease. Two of them died in childhood from Tetralogy of Fallot, a heart defect with four primary problems that affect the blood flow through the heart and into the body. This caused immense suffering for my family, emotional, physical, financial. It limited our ability as a family to do things like traveling to see relatives. It limited my mother's ability to work outside the home. And it certainly contributed to my pursuit of a career in healthcare. I was going in for my 20 week ultrasound appointment. I was going in to find out if my child was a boy or a girl and to make sure everything was okay with her, to make sure, you know, her heart was okay. And that's when I found out my baby had a cardiac condition. I had no clue what CHD was. Um, I've heard about heart disease, heart conditions, but I thought that was for older people um, that didn't eat right or didn't properly exercise. Bella has what you call tetralogy of a of pulmonary atresia. She has had three open heart surgeries before the age of two. But if you didn't know her story, you wouldn't know. She's a typical three-year-old, almost four-year-old. She's very active, she eats well. She doesn't need any feeding tube, breather machines, or anything like that. If you see Bella today, you wouldn't know anything was wrong. My siblings died of things that, you know, 50 years ago, we didn't know enough about. Even 30 years ago, when I was in nursing school, most children born with Tetralogy of Fallot, they still died. Most children born with what they have today, they live, they thrive. They live thanks to the advancements that have been made through the American Heart Association's funding of research and improvements in treatment over the last several decades. Of course, when I first found out at 20 weeks, like I said, I was lost. I didn't know. I didn't know if my baby would survive. But, you know, after talking to different people and researching and getting connected with the American Heart Association, I learned that it was hope for Bella. Had they been born today, my siblings would likely still be here. And to see people that's been through that and understands, and it just gives me hope for her future. My name is Caroline Hickam, and I'm the director of Go Red for Women for Greater Maryland. I was born with a congenital heart defect, Tetralogy of Fallot, and had my first open heart surgery at two and a half weeks old. Caroline and Bella, they're examples of what I'm talking about. Had they been born when my siblings were, you know, who knows? It's exactly what I'm talking about. The evolution of treatment has been so amazing that we are living full lives without a lot of limitations and it's just getting better and better. There are a lot of causes. There are a lot of things, a lot of organizations that people can donate to. There are some that you might say, oh, that's for other people, but that's not for me. That doesn't really touch my life. The American Heart Association, every single person has a heart. Every person has a heart. We all need them to work well. And together, we can work towards making that a reality. Say, so will you open your heart? Say heart. <laughs> My heart. Oh, My she's going to make a heart. <laughs>